Coffee. It's a widely consumed beverage across the globe, and its opinions on its health benefits and drawbacks continuously fluctuate. A recent small study published in the New England Journal of Medicine reveals both positive and negative aspects of coffee consumption. Drinking at least one cup of coffee daily may increase physical activity, but decrease sleep duration and potentially increase the risk of a specific type of heart palpitation. So Dr. Gregory Marcus, the study's lead author and a cardiologist and a professor of medicine at the University of California, San Francisco, stated that the health consequences of coffee consumption are more complex than a single outcome. Previous research on this topic has been primarily observational with inherent limitations, so a randomized interventional trial was necessary. So the authors conducted a study involving 100 healthy adults from the San Francisco area with an average age of 39. So participants wore Fitbits to monitor their steps and their sleep and continuous blood glucose monitors to monitor the glucose and electrocardiogram devices, EKG devices, to track their heart rhythms. They were instructed to drink as much coffee as they desired for two days and then abstain from drinking for two days, repeating this cycle for two weeks. The study found that participants took an average of over 1,000 more steps on coffee drinking days compared to non-coffee drinking days. However, they slept 36 minutes less on days when they consumed coffee. So increased coffee consumption correlated with higher physical activity and decreased sleep duration. The research also investigated coffee's impact on the heart. No significant relationship was found between coffee consumption and premature atrial contractions, known as PACs, which are common early heartbeats originating from the heart's upper chambers of the atria. However, consuming more than one cup of coffee daily resulted in a 50% higher incidence of premature ventricular contractions, or PVCs, compared to days without uh, coffee intake. So PVCs originate from the heart's lower chambers and can feel like skipped beats or palpitations. Dr. Marcus suggests that those experiencing bothersome palpitations related to PVCs might benefit from abstaining from coffee. Some individuals may develop heart weakness or heart failure due to increased PVCs. Those with a higher risk of heart failure, such as having a family history or other risk factors, may want to avoid coffee. Peter Kistler, who's head of the electrophysiology at the Alfred Hospital in Melbourne, Australia, commended the study, but noted that it's a short-term investigation involving healthy volunteers. The study does not provide information on the long-term effects of coffee consumption or its impact on people with other health conditions. Now, Dr. Marcus, he also explained that coffee might enhance exercise motivation or performance. However, he cautioned against extrapolating these findings to energy drinks or high-dose caffeine consumption as high doses can cause disturbances. The study also explored the genetic aspect of coffee consumption. Participants with slower caffeine metabolism experience greater sleep reduction when consuming coffee, while those with faster caffeine metabolism had more PVCs. These results indicate that a personalized approach to coffee consumption may be most suitable for evaluating its health effects. Kistler considers coffee a common drug for cognitive enhancement and believes that being less tired is not necessarily negative. Dr. Marcus stated that coffee could increase activity in the sympathetic nervous system, which can promote PVCs. Also, caffeine contains active metabolites, meaning breakdown products, for example, aminophylline, which is sometimes used as an asthma medication, and it's known to induce arrhythmias when it's used in high doses. People can consider the study's findings based on their personal health goals, as Dr. Marcus reassures that there are no imminent dangers associated with coffee consumption. So to determine whether one is a fast or a slow metabolizer of caffeine, a DNA test that measures this may be useful. People can also pay attention to their experiences and their tolerance to understand their caffeine metabolism better. For those who are unsure about their caffeine tolerance, Kistler suggested monitoring personal reactions to coffee consumption. So if someone experiences anxiety or trembling after one cup of coffee, they're likely a slow metabolizer. However, if they have a higher tolerance, they may metabolize coffee more rapidly. So it's essential to remember that individual reactions to coffee it can vary. And what works for one person may not be suitable for another. So the study's findings suggest that a tailored approach to coffee consumption is the most effective way to manage its effects on health. 
So in summary, coffee consumption has a range of both positive and negative consequences. The increased physical activity associated with coffee intake may be beneficial, but the reduction in sleep duration and potential risks for certain people have to be considered. The relationship between coffee and heart health, specifically the increased incidence of PVCs with more than one cup per day, should be taken into account by those with a predisposition to heart disease. On top of that, the genetic component of caffeine metabolism highlights the importance of a personalized approach to coffee consumption. So understanding one's caffeine metabolism, it can help in making informed decisions about coffee intake and its potential health effects. This study emphasizes that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to coffee consumption. People need to consider their health goals, their genetic predisposition, and their personal experiences when determining their ideal coffee intake. As research on the topic continues to evolve, it's crucial to stay informed about the latest findings and maintain an open dialogue with a healthcare professional to make sure that you're making the best choice. Hey, Dr. Mike Hansen here. And if you're someone who's serious about losing weight and getting all the tremendous health benefits that come along with that, click on the link so I can help you get your best results.